Okay guys, I just um, did the unboxing video for the Annette A8 and then just want to show you one thing that they do tell you that you need to do is if you look here, go to YouTube, do a 3D printer instruction pre-test all electronics then it will test all your electronics and make sure everything is working so I've done that, just want to show you let me just push it in here so as you can see everything is working so I've done my electronic test it's working so now I will start setting it up in that video basically that I showed you here I also put it in the description that video you need to follow to do all this and at least then you will be testing your electronics before you switch your device on and it's actually not working then it's going to be a big pain to do everything else so up next I will be showing you when I'm done here how it looks like with the frame okay guys I'm almost halfway through my print already just want to show you how far I am currently and I just wanted to stop at this this um, part of the installation as you can see my edge plate this one it's underneath if you look at the video you will see it's the different way around apparently the video is incorrect as I saw on the forums so just wanted to make yourself um, aware that that piece must actually be like this it must be turned around otherwise the belts under here that's gonna run from here to here is gonna have a bit of strain so um, just wanted to let you guys know about that so um, yeah I'll update a bit later again on how the bolt is going okay guys so this is basically how it should almost look like after part one of the build just want to see show you here that's the name you see of the video that you should follow with most of the up-to-date stuff so this is after part one I will also link that video in there just wanted to show you an update at how far I'm at now okay guys so I'm finished with part two as you can see there I will be putting that also in the description below just want to show you how you end up after number two so you've got your spindle there first thing I'm gonna or one of the things I'm gonna actually be <laughs> printing myself a cover for this because this doesn't look too well you know it looks bad so I do see there's some covers there that you can buy just want to come over here so you can see here it's the everything there and then this side as well I will be printing a yeah, cover for for this part so that it can at least look a bit better <laughs> I'll feel a bit safer so my first upgrade that's on its way will be down here it's going to be a MOSFET to take this off from the from the main board here because there's some fires that actually happened in other guys's yeah setup so be careful if you have bought your Annette 8 a8 or a6 I would highly suggest get a MOSFET as soon as possible so that you can install it but okay that's it so it's been built I will now power it up and hopefully everything will work okay guys so here you can see it's now switched on everything's working let's just see if I can get there you can see temperatures are rising so everything is working so I'll be doing my first test print soon I just wanted to keep quiet so that you can hear it's just a fan that one can hear on here but further on it's not that high in noise as everybody said so we will find out the more I actually use it once it starts printing but so far it's quite quiet but there it is fully completed and ready to print okay guys so I did the calibration test um, I put and look there also will be putting that in the description and everything is printing quite fine if you look here it's just my free sample that I got but if you look here that's how it's printing so not too bad yet we'll see how it holds up but so far I'm impressed so this is everything for this video so hopefully you enjoyed it and I hope I helped you with something so until my next video cheers